So I'm doing a day of, uh, or a day in the life. I'm doing a vlog, as uh, some might call it. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. Today's Thursday. It's 9.30. Figure, why not start right now, you know? That way tomorrow I'm already moving. I'm already rolling. And it's going to be a little bit of a later night for me tonight. Like most nights is. Like, I'm a very much a night owl. I thrive right now. If I wanted to be able to have, like, a, like real time to be alone and focused on anything, whether that's focus on, like, watching a show or focus on work or reading, you know, I don't have that at all during the day, which is fine. That's being a parent. You know, I know a lot of people would would get up early and do it in the morning. See, that's that's not me. Because if I wanted to do that, I'd have to wake up at, like, 4 o'clock. Because Amy gets up at 6, 6.30. You know, I need some time before to get the coffee in and get a little bit energized. So I'm like an hour and a half. Now, the kids go to bed around 8. It's I've already had an hour and a half, and I have plenty of time to go. Anyways, I'd rather do this now. So my plan normally on nights that I really like to get like stuff done is just stay awake until Avery's first feed at night, which varies, but most of the time it's between 11.30 and 12.30. So that's no problem. That means I have at least two to three more hours to go. And if I need to stay up after that, I can, but eh, some, most times I just go to bed after I'm done with that. And I've also noticed that like mood wise, me personally, like I can, I know my mood. If I go to bed early and have to wake up to feed her, during her first feed, my mood during the feed is just way worse than it is when I am, when I'm, I stay awake through the first feed that go to bed after. And my sleep is better after, like I fall, I fall asleep better. I don't have to like breathe my, anyways. So right now, just, you know, I know this isn't part of like the real vlog, but right now I'm typing out an email to like a, a marketing email. I'm gonna put our April favorites box on sale. All supplies last for the weekend to try to generate some sales. We had a boom on TikTok. We had like 300, 400 orders within the first like three weeks. We really started getting on there, which is a lot for us. Uh, I know there were a lot of small orders, but like in total, it was really good. And then it's just, it, it died down. My, my, my theory is that TikTok, when they have a new shop, it's maybe like starts getting a little bit of momentum. They will like throw a bunch of discounts on your shop and they will promote your shop so that you get these sales and you're like, oh crap, like I'm encouraged. Like you get in your head like, oh, this is awesome. I'm going to investing my time more into TikTok. So what happened was we had those few weeks of us doing really well and I was just struggling to keep up with inventory. So I was having to reorder things every single day to keep up with everything and then TikTok takes a while to give you your money to like three weeks-ish from the time of purchase. I finally get recouped on a lot of stuff and I get the money I've been waiting for and I place a couple big orders, you know, to fulfill everything. And then TikTok like one day later after like this boom, like I was averaging over 10 orders a day, just kind of falls. And I have got, I have, I've been averaging like two orders a day over the past, you know, like week almost. So it's like, ugh. I just have a feeling they're like, they just bait you into that and then they like, okay. And they just throw all these things at you like, here you go. Here's how you do ads. Here's how you blah, 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 and this and this and this, which is fine. It is what it is. Like I plan on doing a lot more stuff on TikTok, doing a couple ads. I want to do, I want to start going live on TikTok because I've seen people on there, like stores, candy stores who have like less than a thousand followers that will have like 300, 400 people in their lives, which is awesome. So that's the plan to keep doing that. I want to go live, but I'm try I've been trying to think about like what I'm going to do while I'm live. If I don't have orders to pack, then I want to be doing something, not just sitting to the camera and talking about it. I could do reviews. I've been working on a couple cool things that I want to, if I can get them to be good enough, I want to sell them. But anyways, I'm rambling now and I haven't even started. The vlog doesn't even start for another 10 hours. Anyways, so that's what I'm doing tonight. I'll probably read some books after. Uh, well, actually, Kelly just, Kelly, so Kelly just came down to give me the camera because she's going to bed. And when she came down, I had an audiobook. I had, I'm, I'm finishing Qu Court of Thorns and Roses. I am on chapter 
37. I just finished chapter 36 on my audiobook. So I'm on chapter 37, so I'm like almost done. And um, I was listening to the audiobook on my phone as I was working, like actively working on this email. And I have the NBA playoffs in the background, um, which I'm not a huge fan of the NBA. Like I just, it's just background. I'm not really watching it. I'll glance up every once in a while to check the score or whatever. But so she came down like, you got a problem. And I think I do have a problem. I know I have. Everyone else in my family has been, um, like everyone, all of my other siblings have been at one point in their life diagnosed with ADD or ADHD. So I assume I have uh, maybe a smidgen of it. But yeah, I'm going to finish this stuff. Maybe read a little bit. Relax to end the day. Um, if you didn't know, I know Kelly has talked about my reading a lot. Um, I'm up to 31 books this year as of April 18th. And I'll probably finish this, if not tonight, tomorrow. 32 books. I don't know if I've read 32 books in my entire life before last year. So, anyways. Love reading now. Um, yeah, I guess that's all I have for you now. I don't know when this video is going to go live, but it's probably after the sale of these April um, boxes are done. So if you do watch this video, whenever it goes live, um, use a code, use code DADVLOG, and it'll get you a 20% discount on the whole store. So just to say sorry that you missed the sale on the April. You're welcome, if you want to use it. We got a lot of cool new stuff on Worth the Candy. If you haven't checked it out in a while, check it out. Kind of switched everything up, which I'll go into detail later. I've been trying to think of when I want to make a, a video about why we made the worth it change that we did, what's going on with the original shoes, um, and our plans for the future, but I haven't decided on what all I want to say. So anyways, that's it for tonight. I'll see you in the morning, probably about 8 o'clock, I'd say. I do, I do Avery's first feed of the night. Kelly does her second because she'll just nurse her. Um, but she already pumped a bottle for me, so I'll just do that whenever that happens. And then Kelly gets Emmy when she wakes up at like 6, 6.30, 7, something like that. And lets me sleep in, very kindly of her. Um, and I wake up when Avery wakes up, typically, which is about 8-ish. It's between 7.30 and 8.30. And um, then we'll start the day. I think Kelly's going to go to the gym tomorrow, which means... She'll take Emmy, which means I have the morning with Avery. And then we'll, we'll just, we'll do that. We'll do that. See you there. Emmy, are you the silliest? Hey, Rally Rally. Hey, Rally Rally. We'll run around in a car. What kind of round and round? How about you sing it? Big stretch. Oh. Oh. What were you singing? Boo. Did you boo her? Thank you. She woke up. I don't know if uh, you remember what I said last night, but she she woke up at twelve fifteen to eat. She four four fifteen to eat, 
8.15, she woke up. So, girl was feeling her fours. Huh? So yeah, and it's pretty much what I predicted. So, very normal night. Um, she slept pretty great otherwise. Didn't really need much help. Like, didn't need her passive put back in very many times. Um, so yeah, it was good. We just ate, and it's like 8.45 now almost. 8.40. She has an appointment at the chiropractor at 9.30. Don't chop. She was really tight when she woke up, or when she was born, like her shoulder, and so we've been going. I think this is probably gonna be the last time. She seems a lot better than she was. Uh, but the chiropractor does help her poop, and she hasn't pooped in over a day, so hopefully that can help. Um, so yeah, now we just gotta get to 9.30 then. So we're gonna have a cup of coffee, hang out with her for a bit. They're gonna go off to the gym, and then we're gonna get ready for the appointment. Good thing is the chiropractor is like five minutes away and the appointment is like five minutes. So it's really not too big of a deal because 9.30 would be her normal start to get ready for a nap time. So we're good. Um, if everything goes well and she's in a good mood, I'll put her down for her nap. And that's when I will scramble to shower, eat, and pack orders. See how much of that I can get done. You gonna help me with a little bit of a longer nap? She was a 30 minute nap yesterday, strict. Like that was the longest she'd go, no matter if it was contact or not. Hey Em, can you help me make some coffee? Yeah. Okay. She wants to show you her outfit. Okay, let me see it. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Smiley face. Yeah, I need it. Em, you got your new shoes on. Come here. I need coffee. Yeah, I'll make some coffee. I booped her. You booped her. <laughs> Mama. Yeah, it is Mama's camera. Do you want to see uh, real time how all well this stuff works? Um, you look so cute, girl. It's going to help get the smoothie out. It's pretty cool. Wow. I don't know what that <coughs> green is. But... Cover, remember? Cover with your elbow, like this. <coughs> yep. Perfect. Yay. I need that. I don't think we need this. I need oh. coffee. You need... I need to coffee. All right, let's do it. You were just gonna help me make my coffee. Can you get on your stand to help me? Secret sauce for a happy baby. <laughs> for us. I don't think this is straight. It doesn't feel straight. Let's see. Off to the chiropractor. We'll probably be a couple minutes early, but that's fine. They usually get us right in anyways. <laughs> She's been in a great mood today, so that's good. You gonna tell them what you think? No? Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna bring the camera because it's literally a five minute in and out and then we'll be back here for nap time. So, talk to you later, see ya. Hey. What's up? This girl's allergic to long naps, aren't ya? Aren't ya? Yeah. 
All right, so <clears throat> little homie just woke up a few minutes ago, about 10:25. She, we got back from the chiropractor at like, I don't know, nine. 9.45, 9.50, and she fell asleep pretty much like right away, right when I got her upstairs, she fell asleep. Sat with her for a couple minutes, put her down around 10, which gave me just enough time to eat a little bit of breakfast and to shower and change. And by the time I was putting my shirt on, she was waking up. So I didn't get a chance to pack orders, that's okay. I'll do that after we get a bottle. It's heating up right now, I think it's done. So we'll eat, we'll hang out, you can help me pack some mortars, and then maybe we'll just go to the post office before they get home. How's that, how's that sound? Sound good? Sound good? Let's see what we can do. She ate enough to be happy for a while. She's chilling down there. I got, I only got a couple orders to pack, um, because I packed some last night. And, uh, so we're gonna do that. This one here is a, sorry, this one's a Kit Kat bundle. So, you get six Kit Kats, uh, a couple limited edition ones, a couple of, like the duo ones, and then a couple of just um, fun, fun flavors. I've been trying to, for a while to decide finally which option for packing is the best in terms of like adding protection. So I have like bubble wrap that comes in these big rolls. Doesn't matter. So that um there's a little it's a little bit hard it got her back anyways i'm trying to decide between that and peanuts the peanuts i get from uh uline which is like a big box that's where we get our boxes it's where we get tape stuff like that problem is for some reason they only offer one day shipping so it's always expensive i've asked them before if they have like i don't need one day shipping like i can plan farther ahead than one day. So like if I get one thing of, like there are these big seven, like seven cubic feet worth of peanuts that's, that are UPSable. Like they have bigger ones, they have to go like freight. So that's way more expensive. But like just sending one thing, like it's like 19 bucks for like the one big bag of peanuts. But the shipping is pretty much the same price. So you really can't go buy the 19, you have to add the shipping on. It's like really, $38. So anyways, so we got six bars or six Kit Kats go in the Kit Kat variety pack. That was a really hot sell over in the TikTok shop for a while. TikTok shop still shows like the picture won't let me change it. Shows like the small of all of them. However, the churro is the big king size. The mint is the big king size. Those are both in there. And then you're going to get the duos, which is the mint one, strawberry dark chocolate, you got birthday cake, blueberry donut, that's been hard, that's been hard to get a hold of, and then the chocolate frosted donut, which is a fan favorite. Let's talk about freebies, it's because I throw in like five different things in every single order, so this one will get a couple pixie sticks, we'll get a couple of the Tootsie Fruit Chews, a couple Laffy Taffies. Probably a Smarty, a Strawberry Bonbon, and a, let's do a Sour Patch Kid. Big Sour Patch Kid. All good. And the packing slips. More tape. There you have it. I really actually enjoy, this is like something I really enjoy doing. You can, you know, sometimes you can kind of let your mind go blank. I'll listen to audiobooks while I do this sometimes. Um, it's just fun. Like I like I also like doing this at night after uh, the kiddos go to bed. So I can just focus on this and not have to worry about trying to speed through it. I don't know. Let's go get you some gripe. Okay, we're back. Finished your bottle. Pooped. Nice. Ugh. Hiccups were taken care of. And now hopefully chill for about five minutes while I pack this order. Because it's a it's kind of big. So a bunch of stuff here. Skittles bundle first. And an extra freeze dried Skittles. So excuse me. Sorry. Let me get you there. Hey girl. 
Skittles bundle, which I need to update and make it bigger, is just this Chewies from the UK, the Giants from the UK, and the Giants in the Sour. All from our friends across the pond. Because we can't get the, these in America for some reason. I don't know what the deal is, but I don't question it. Next was a big bag. I gotta put them over here. A big bag, one pounder of the um, fruit shoes, original. A little bits and pieces of leather. And lastly, they also got the chocolate bundle, which is like nine pieces. Chocolate bundle. My favorite piece of this, which is the Oreo twists. These are also from the United Kingdom. I always add an additional layer of protection for these because Oreos are fragile. So we got special Twixes, cookies and cream, cookie dough. We got salted caramel as well. And a bunch of the Reese's goes in. So fast break, take five, sticks, and nut rages. And you got your mallow cups and your Jimmy Sticks, which are uh, chocolate and peanut butter covered pretzels. Delicious. Throw some protection in, and then you got the little, you got your extras. Note, if you spend more money, typically, I'm gonna give you more of the freebies. Big bottle pop, along with the other stuff. And that's it. And those are the only other orders that I had to pack so far today. If more come in throughout the day, which I expect they will. I will try to get them to the post office by 4.30, which is the one near us that closes at 4.30. Um, if I can't, they will just go tomorrow morning. So put it down for another nap, like 11.30, right as Emmy and my, or Emmy and Kelly were getting home. And also right as they, they're putting fiber optic cable, like, throughout our neighborhood. And just so happens that the like, like one of the, like the control boxes for it is going right in our backyard. And then on either side of the side yard, they have to dig these big holes. So it's like a jackhammer going off right in front of Emmy's room. So we'll see, or Avery's room. So we'll see how long she's down. It's been like 25 minutes. So it's a win to start, but we'll see. I had a couple more orders come through, so I had to pack those. So not gonna be able to make it there by noon, but Another pickup comes at five, so they'll definitely be going out today. Do you hear that? Avery's room is right above me, and we got a jackhammer going on outside. People in the side yard just walking around. I told, I've been, I've said this a couple times, but like the feeling that you never really own anything, even though we own this house, the city can just come in, decide to dig up our yard. You never really own anything, which is kind of like, ugh, it sucks. But anyways. That's it. Um, Emmy needs a nap. She's having a rough day. I think she's teething. I know her stomach hurts because she didn't poop yesterday. So hopefully by the time I can get, or we can get Emmy down for a nap, I can just, she's talking to grandma right now. I can take the packages. Maybe I'll just take Avery with me again. So Kelly has some time here to get some stuff done. We'll see, who knows. <laughs> Want more of your bar, or maybe? Yeah, you just had one. Me. I got you, girl. Taco time. Taco. Taco time. Me. Avery, you are crushing it, girl. Oh, nice. I was gonna bring that because I had to. Oh, look at her. She's smiling. Em, I got you a couple books. That's gonna fall down. Oh, did you already tell them? Oh, no. This is my job now. Oh, gosh. 
Bless you. Time. Um, okay, so took packages. Oh, no, let me start over. Okay, so first off, it's been a little bit. Got Emmy down for a nap. Then took packages. Got home, and Avery was time for a nap. So I took Avery up and did a contact nap with her for like we were up there for maybe an hour and a half. It's been her longest nap in the past like three or four days. So that was good. Um, she needed it. And uh, she's in a great mood now. It's, it's been good. So now it's a little after 3, almost 3.30 actually. And we're doing our tradition. We're going to get some tacos. Right, Em? What Friday we, tacos. What are we doing, Em? In the car, driving. Driving to where? Yeah, driving to tacos. Okay, so yeah, it's Taco Friday. Also, just some work, like in between. Um, but it was too boring to show. So, like I said, the sale is live, but you're not going to be in time for that. So, when is the sale through? I haven't decided yet. I said this weekend, but now it's. I already. I gave them another discount code. I can't remember what it was right now, but I'll figure it out. I'm very proud of myself. I don't know what's gotten into me recently. I've been flying through editing. That's where we're at. 3.30. Gonna go to tacos, then prop. I don't know, maybe. I maybe. packed enough to go to his parents' house. We've yeah, been we, doing that. Not planned, it just always kind of happens. So we'll see, maybe we go walk around Bridge Park for a little bit, take the kiddos to see stuff, and then go over there, or maybe we don't. We'll see. She could we'll, do the mountains. Yes. Yeah. Dad, where are you? Maybe. Anyways, so. Oh, it's okay, Avery. <laughs> There's your update. It's okay, Avery. Right here. You doing it? Is she looking at you? <laughs> Do you get blueberry waffle cone? Ooh. Blueberry waffle cone. Let me see. Ooh, yummy. Are you want that at first? Can I try some of mine? No. Okay. Look in here. That's that is ice cream. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> Oh, and that's yummy. Cause I love you, baby. Let's go. All right, we finished the dinner. We got ice cream, which we showed. Yeah, we did, didn't we? Was it yummy? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's all good. It was all good. It's all gone? Maybe we'll get some more some another time. Another time, okay. We're gonna go over to my parents for a little bit because they live nearby. And, uh, you know. This is the struggle time of day, so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Works always out like for having everybody. a little bit of help. Gigi and Papa get to see the babies. Our house doesn't get destroyed. <laughs> yeah, mom and dad get a semi, semi like break for a little bit. I know. Get to see I'll some feed family. Once we get there, and then we'll go home and we'll put kids through the bedtime routine. Yeah, 
and Bed then again. got some orders to pack so we'll get back to work and relax it's friday joshua. yeah we're gonna see uncle joshua a big guy. he's a big guy <laughs> Oh, uh, Louie? Uh, maybe Louie. I'm not sure. Not sure. It's now past nine, and here's what happened. We got back from my parents at like 6.30-ish, and both children lost their minds. Lost their minds. They both were just screaming, crying. Uh, Emmy, because her stomach's been hurting, because she still has a pooping problem, so we've been trying to get her to poop all day, and like little bits come out, and finally she was able to get a little bit more out, helped her out, but she was just, man, just totally just whiny, and I'm not trying to complain here, I'm just saying, this is what the night went. I, my, I'm saying this because my plan was to film some of nighttime routine to show you kind of how we, you know, divide and conquer, which has been working for us for the past couple months, but I couldn't do that because the children, both of them were really tired, probably overtired, and Emmy's stomach just hurt really bad. Logan, anyways. So, uh, yeah, we got home. Emmy just started crying right away because um, she was needing to poop. Avery was started crying in the car because um, she was just tired. She did not get a good enough nap at while well, we were at my parents' house or before that. So, like, she was just really tired. And so I was trying to heat up her bottle to see if she might have been hungry as well and to try to feed her before she goes to bed or else she's going to be up three times tonight. And while I'm doing that, she's, like just that really pissed off cry to where like it's like more than just a cry to like, scream like a full face red full-blown scream for like 10 minutes which she does not do that very often like she just emmy did that every single day avery barely does that so you know something is like she's like no you need to fix this now i got her changed into her pjs wrapped up tried to feed her she probably ate like maybe half an ounce um, at that time, Kelly was getting uh, Emmy bathed and dressed for bed. Um, typically, what we'll do is I'll get Avery ready for bed. If that involves a bath every couple days, then I'll do that. Give her her bottle um, and I'll swaddle up. Then we'll go up to Emmy's room. At the same time, Kelly will be bathing Emmy. And then we'll go up to Emmy's room, hang out for a few minutes. Then Kelly will take Avery. Most nights, we'll like, nurse her until she's asleep nurse her to sleep sometimes sometimes just rock her to sleep and then i will get emmy to bed um which that still happened but i brought avery into emmy's room and just she was just still pissed crying emmy's at the stage where if avery's crying she's crying especially when she's crying bad because avery's worried about her she really she's like she doesn't want her to cry she feels bad um, so Ava, Emmy's crying and we had to separate them or else it would have just gotten worse. A, uh, Kelly took Avery down and I got Emmy to bed. She was in a fine mood after that. She was great. Took Avery a while. When I got done with Emmy, Kelly was already tr having to go up to Avery again to get her situated because she had woken up already. So I put Avery down after that so Kelly could have time to come down and pump before she went up so that's good um that was a problem I, we finished that whole process probably about by 8 30 or so and then i just finished a guitar just now it was good probably like i probably give it about like 3.75 stars on goodreads i'll give it four i liked it it's not my favorite but most people say that about a guitar most people say you got to read book one to get to book two and three and four and five so i liked it i did i like tamlin as a character i'm a sucker for like the good, like the genuinely good characters, the, the ones that mean well, 
the ones that fight for the right side. Like, I'm a sucker for those. Like, I know some people find them cliche, like, oh, you gotta have, like, a, a morally gray character. No. Give me the good, like, the, just the good guys. So, anyways, like Tamlin, like Lucian, Resand, you know, he was meh. And then he, he came, well, spoiler, sorry, if you haven't read it. He came around, um, and then, uh, who am I forgetting? I guess Amarantha. But yeah, it was good. I got a couple more books before I read the next one, because I can't read series. I get bored if I just read about the same characters for like 5,000 pages or whatever it's going to be. Now, it's 9.30. I have this book here um, that I got from this book. Here, let's just talk about this for a few minutes because I want to. Because I don't get to talk to many people about some of the books I read. This book is a by Joe Abercrombie. So he has like a 10 book, 9 book maybe like world, right? And I read the initial trilogy, the first Law trilogy. It starts with the Blade itself, which was awesome. I loved it. Um, that series, loved it. This is like, so he has a, a trilogy to start, and then there are three standalone books. This is the first standalone, and then it finishes off with another trilogy. So I got the audiobook through Libby. Like I uh, rented it through the library. I like to, when I read, I like to read and listen to the same book at the same time. Like, I'm not someone who, like, reads a physical book and then has a audiobook of another book going. So, like, what I'll do is I'll read this at night, just regularly, and then while I'm doing chores or cutting the grass or driving, I'll listen to it. So then I just, like, move my, move my page along. I think it's the best of both worlds because, number one, I get to listen to how some of these names sound. It's, especially if you're a fantasy reader, you know what I'm talking about names and cities and world and stuff and then and it just goes really fast like i like finishing stories as quickly as i can um because i just get addicted to the story and i want to finish it so i can't like go in between so yeah that's what i'm doing i also started randomly i haven't watched any tv in a year besides sports if you take sports away zero television like i'm talking no movies no tv no nothing uh, but I saw that Fallout show came out on Amazon Prime, and I started it because it looks cool. I never played the games, but it looked cool. So I'm like, you know what? A couple of nights ago, I, d I didn't feel like reading. So I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's start this show because I heard good things about it too. So I turned it on, and I'm hooked. I'm already on episode five. I've watched pretty much like an episode and a half a day, and uh, so good. So I'll probably read a couple chapters of this, then I'll watch an episode, and then I got orders to pack. Because we don't, normally on Saturdays, Emmy goes and spends some time with Kelly's mom for the morning. And so Kelly and I have some time to do stuff around the house. But she is not, she's out of town. So we have just a regular day with the kids. So the mornings are tough to get a bunch of stuff done. Um, so I'm going to pack the orders tonight. So all I have to do is take them to the post office tomorrow instead of do all the packing and the taking tomorrow. So yeah, there's my night. That was my day. I hope you found some enjoyment out of this if not enjoyment i hope you learned a little bit whether that's about me whether that's about the life of a not a stay-at-home dad but a self-employed i guess there's some work there's some play there's some parenting i wouldn't trade this life for the world as long as worth it candy continues or you know continues to grow a little bit you know we needed to make you know, we, needed, we needed to be doing better than it is now but we have some ideas for for doing that so as you know, as we implement these ideas, as long as it keeps growing and I keep enjoying what I'm doing with it, I'd like to not have to go back to the corporate world so I can stay at home with the kiddos. I couldn't imagine right now having to go back like to a nine to five job and be gone every day. I couldn't imagine what that would be like for Emmy. Um, I would just feel horrible about it. And I would feel horrible not seeing her. So Anyways, if you have any questions about anything, now's the time. Drop them in the comments. But other than that, me and this guy are going to hang out. Who says you need a white noise machine when you have a cat? Do you hear this? Please tell me you hear it. All the time. Anyways, I think I'm done now. So, hope everyone has a great day or night whenever you're watching this. And uh, eat more candy. That's what I'll leave you with. See ya.
Uh, okay, I'll cut this out, please. That was embarrassing. Anyways.